Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we are going to talk about moderation analysis for the categorical variable, also known as multigroup analysis. Let us see how we can do this in Smart PLS 4. Here in this model, you can see there are three constructs y1 affecting y2, y1 affecting y2 through the mediator variable m. In my previous video, I had discussed about the mediation effect. That, are, that is an interaction effect. Now, let us study today the moderating variable which is in a category. The layman example which we had taken is that just assume that y1 is a children and the child wants to go on picnic. So, y1 can approach the father directly that is y2 and the p3 is the direct effect. But if the child feels that approaching the father directly may not, may not influence him and therefore the child takes the root of the mediating variable, the mother. So child tries to convince the mother, mother will try to convince the, will try to convince the father. So here the root which is taken is an indirect root, P1 into P2. P3 is a direct effect, P1 into P2 is an indirect. Now, what is a moderation? Let us see. This particular path may be different for the younger child and it may happen that this particular path may be different for the elder child. It means that the younger child may be able to influence the father directly. Y1 is affecting Y2 directly. And the elder one may not be able to influence the father directly. And that's the reason there is a moderation. Moderation describes a situation in which the relationship between the two constructs is not constant, but it depends on the value of the third variable referred to as a moderator variable. The moderator variable can be the gender, it can be the large scale industry, the small scale industry. It occurs when the relationship between the two variables depends on the value of the moderator. The moderator variable is, is having the capacity to change the direction of the relationship or even the strength of the relationship between the two constructs. It either strengthens or weakens the relationship. For example, the prior research shows that the relationship between customer satisfaction and customer loyalty differs as a function of customer switching barriers. Now, what's the difference between mediation effect and moderation? Mediation analysis tests a hypothetical causal chain relationship where one x variable affects the second moderating variable and the mod uh, sorry mediating variable. I, I want to correct here mediating variable and the mediating variable will affect the dependent variable y. Very simple. See y1 is influencing m that is a child is influencing m mother the mediator and a mother will try to convince the father that allow the child to go on picnic. So here this is a mediation. So what the statement is? It's a hypothetical causal chain where one variable x affects the second variable m and in turn that affects the third variable y. Mediation does not alter the relationship between x and y. But when we talk about moderation analysis, it allows you to test the influence of the third variable z on the relationship between x and y and it even alters the relationship. See, if I say that this path p3, is it different for the younger child and elder child? So if, if I consider the younger and older as the moderators or male female as an moderators, large scale and medium scale as moderators. So here the relationship will be altered and that's the difference between mediation and moderation. So here independent variable influencing the mediator variable, mediator influencing the dependent variable. Moderator variable alters the relationship. Now how to resolve that which is the mediation and what is the moderation? Just imagine that we are, we, there is a path where we want to say that the satisfaction is affecting the gender gender is affecting the loyalty. Now, do you think that satisfaction can change the gender? No, it cannot change. 
so the satisfaction cannot cause the gender and therefore gender is not the mediator very simple gender is to be used as a moderator the impact of so uh, satisfaction or loyalty is not constant but it depends upon respondent's gender say for it see we want to see that the satisfaction is affecting the loyalty is it significantly different in male and female or not so that's a conceptual model which i am presenting here what's the significant difference moderating variable can be of two types one continuous so if moderating variable is continuous then it is known as an interacting effect which we have already discussed in my previous video i request all my viewers to kindly refer my earlier videos to understand the flow of this entire series now the second possibility the moderating variable is a categorical then it is will be using the interaction effects also and here multi group analysis will also be done when to use the interaction effect when to use multi group analysis that we will that i will explain moderating variable if you are inserting in the model it can possibly alter the single relationship or it can alter the whole model so if you if it is altering the single relationship you you should include as a interaction effects and if it is altering the whole model you should run the multi group analysis remember one thing we are inserting the new variable in the model and therefore it is a prima facie to again test the reliability and the validity of the model then only you should proceed further so how we can do this analysis let's see I again request my viewers to kindly refer the previous video to understand the flow of this lecture series. Job satisfaction is affecting the staying intention of an employee. Organizational commitment is affecting the staying intention of an employee. Environmental perception is affecting the staying intention of an employee. Co-workers, the behavior of a co-workers is affecting the staying intention of an employee. Now I want to see that this particular relationship that is a job satisfaction and its effect on staying intention is it getting altered by gender or not now i know that c1 is a gender so i'll simply drag it and drop it and i will name this as gender enter i can reorient it and whenever i want to introduce the moderating effect the smart pls new version has made it very easy I'll simply connect it, uh, arrow and arrow, and I want to see that is there any significant difference in job satisfaction to staying intensity according to the gender or not. So now I will run calculate bootstrapping and start the calculation. You can see here that the p-value, this p-value, if it is not, uh, if you are not able to get the p-value, what you will do? You will go in the inner model and make sure that the path coefficients and p-values are on. So here the p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore gender, the categorical moderator variable is not altering the relationship of job satisfaction with staying intention. This we can further confirm by open report and we can go in path coefficients. You should not see this value, gender affecting staying intention directly. No, you should see gender interacting with job satisfaction and its effect on staying intention. So as the p-value is more than 0 0.05, we fail to reject null hypothesis. It means that these effects are not significant. This we can further confirm by confidence intervals bias corrected. If the zero is present in between these two interval it means that this effects are not significant you can see here this number is negative and this number is positive so negative to positive zero is present in this confidence interval and therefore this effect the gender as a as a categorical moderating variable is not effective moreover i want to say one thing here as you have included the new variable here 
always do the reliability and validity testing again because a new construct or a variable is added. Here we assume that it has been done. Now the second analysis which you have to do is a slope analysis. That is the slope different for male and female or not. So calculate PLSM algorithm, start the calculations, open the report and go in simple slope analysis. Now you can see here that all these lines are parallel. It means that the job satisfaction and its effect on staying intentions are not affected by the gender. That's a simple slope analysis which we are doing. Now there can be a possibility that the moderating variable which is there, it is affecting the whole model. Okay. First thing which we had seen is that it is affecting only one, uh, one relationship. Uh, and that is we have solved it by the interaction effect. But it may be possible that it is affecting the whole model. For example, just see here. Autonomy affecting the cognitive engagement, autonomy affecting the skill dis discrepancy, affecting the cognitive engagement. Now, is this model significantly different in male or female? That we want to see. And here, single relationship is not affected. Entire model is going to be altered. So in such scenario, when your moderating variable is affecting the whole model, we run the multi-group analysis. Now why it is necessary? Say for example, a study examining the car purchase intention with two predictors, namely quality and price in an environment consisting of equal number of male and female. If we assume that it is a pool data, this analysis will give you the same result that is a price affecting the quality is not significantly different in male and female. So here we are giving uh, or rather path coefficients are equal in both of them. That can never be the possibility. So according to Sarstad 2009, aggre uh, aggregating the data and ignoring the group related difference in model estimates may lead to unexpected results. And therefore it was a necessity that you consider the heterogeneity in the model. It means that you should have a separate model for male and a separate model for the female. So effect of quality or intention to the purchase a car is much stronger among males than females or in contrast a price X2 has a stronger influence on intention to purchase a car among females than males. From this illustration, it should be understood that ignoring the heterogeneity may severely affect the underlying research model and therefore heterogeneity should not be ignored in the model. Now, how to include the moderating variable gender and its effect on the entire model. So first of all, I will delete this. Now I want a separate model for male and female. So I will go in the main menu and make sure that this time you enter from HB87, the raw data file. Go in setup and make sure that the moderating variable which you want to consider should be on, on, the, mat, on the binary scale and update it. It should be binary. We know that the C1 is a gender and we want to see the effect of it. Now you will go and generate the groups. Pick up C1 from here. Click on it. Make sure that you only change the group, not underscore dollar four, because it will identify the variable from there. So gender apply. So it has identified that there are 200 cases of male and 200 cases of female. How do I know this? Because I had coded male as one and female as zero. But I want this uh, particular thing to be re reflected in my output. So I'll go in edit and I will name this as 
mail apply and i will name this as female apply now we are ready for the analysis again i will go in hbat file the data has been splitted into 200 male cases and 200 female cases calculate now the multi-group analysis has been divided into two parts the bootstrap and the permutation multi-group analysis if you want to run my com you will have to go in permutation but this time you run bootstrap multi-group analysis now click on male here and click on female here make sure all other things are same path is same bt setup is same data male and female and start the calculation open the report go in path coefficients when you click on path coefficients you will get two tests one is a parametric test and another is a welch setterbe test we will see the parametric test when we assume that the variances of the two group that is a male and female are equal and if we assume that the variances are not equal we will check from welch setterbe test normally the most popular test or rather a recommended test in social sciences is you should go for non-parametric test where variances between the two groups are not equal so it's a welch setterbe test with from which we will see that the difference between the two groups are equal or not or there is a significant difference in male and female coefficients or not so you can see here the p values all those path coefficients or all those uh, uh, all those paths which are having the value more than 0 0.05 see this path is having the p-value more than 0 0.05 this path is having the p-value more than 0 0.05 this path is having the value p-value more than 0 0.05 now listen to me very carefully as the p-value of 1 2 3 is more than 0 0.05 we interpret that there is no significant difference in their path coefficients and therefore it means that the path coefficients of male and female are not significantly different it means that co-worker affecting staying intention is more or less equal in male and female job satisfaction affecting staying intention is more or less equal in male and female organizational commitment affecting the staying intention is more or less similar in male and female this you can see from the path coefficient difference which is there one two three now let us talk about environmental perception and staying intention its p value is less than 0 0.05 it means that the path coefficient of male and female are significantly different it means that environmental perception affecting staying intentions is not equal in male and female now here we are only getting the difference but I want to uh, see their actual path coefficients. So from where I will get it? Uh, in graphical output, you will be able to get the path coefficients, but you will not be able to. Oh yeah, here it is. You see male and female. See this male and female. From here, you will be able to see the difference male and female. But I want to report the results of male and female separately. I want the table. Here the table is not available. See, I want a, a table which can give report the separate result for male and female. How, how can I do that? So again, I will go and calculate bootstrapping. And this time, make sure that you enter from data. You click on data and activate female and male 
स्टार्ट द कैलकुलेशन अगेन यू कैन सी यर द डेटा ग्रुप्स दिस इज द फुल मॉडल वेर वी एज्यूम दैट देर इज अ होमोजेनिटी द होमोजेनियस मॉडल फीमेल डिफरेंट मेल डिफरेंट द मॉडल्स आर डिफरेंट now open the report go in path coefficients here you are getting the model the complete model now you can click from here this is a complete model you can click here a model for male and a model for female now let us go again back on the canvas and just see this values okay first of all let us activate the complete model right. now see this value for female and see this values for male now click on path coefficients we knew that this value was significantly different in male and female this value okay now let us see how much is the difference in male this figure is 0.390 and in female this figure is 0.154 so environmental perception is affecting the staying intention with less intensity in female in comparison to male all others this this and this they are more or less equal in male and female So for more videos on smart PLS kindly subscribe to my channel you can refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos related to smart PLS please don't forget to press the like button you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter